Hello, this video is going to be a bit different because it's yet another video about my dog, Clyde T. Dog. The T, of course, standing for the. And today marks 11 years to the day that I came home with this guy from the Animal Humane Society in Golden Valley, Minnesota. And they, in particular, are why I wanted to make this video. Let me tell you Clyde's origin story. He was born in Houston, Texas sometime around 2009, and a few years later, for one reason or another, he found himself up for adoption down there, and then came Hurricane Isaac, which brought all sorts of flooding and power outages. The animal shelter in Houston was overwhelmed with donations because some folks weren't able to take care of their pets anymore, so Clyde, along with many other animals, were shipped to other shelters across the country. Clyde in particular was sent to my area in Minnesota. He was there for about two weeks before we picked him up and brought him home, and I'll never forget him trotting around my apartment, just checking out each room, checking out the view, and being like, yeah, this is gonna work nicely. And then laying down on this blanket that my grandma made me as a child and taking a nice long nap. Let me just tell you though, I don't think he liked the winners in Minnesota, although it did give my mom an excuse to buy him a dog parka. Still, he was pretty happy to move with me to Albuquerque, New Mexico a couple years later. He's much more of a warm weather dog. The point I want to get across though is that I wouldn't have found this little guy if it weren't for the Animal Humane Society. They took him in along with a lot of other pets. And they weren't the kind of place that just locks up animals and leaves them there until someone adopts them. They put Clyde, and by proxy, me, in a position to succeed. They really took care of him by giving him plenty of attention, a healthy diet, a lot of time outside, and a bit of time to hang out with other dogs. And of course, they made sure he was healthy overall. After I got Clyde, they followed up with me and provided all sorts of resources, including a free initial checkup with a local veterinarian. Like I said in the previous video from a few years ago where I talked about adopting Clyde, I was pretty overwhelmed and downright scared at the time. Like, how do I know if I'm doing this right? What do I do if he gets sick? How do I know if he's sick? But in the back of my mind, I knew the Animal Humane Society had my back. I knew I could call or go there myself if I had any questions. They even offered obedience classes once a week. Clyde is still doing okay, although recently he was diagnosed with a heart arrhythmia, so unfortunately he had to retire from our daily walks, and we raised his leash up to the rafters. I got him a retirement gift, this big comfy bed, and he seems to like it. I bring this up because there's a good chance Clyde always had this condition, vets were always kind of confused by his heartbeat, plus I mean, he's just a goofy looking guy with all sorts of oddball characteristics, so I guess it kind of makes sense that he has a wonky heartbeat too, but that's just me being totally speculative. But it does make me think back to when I first adopted him. The Golden Valley Animal Humane Facility really helped take the stress out of his life, made sure he was calm and comfortable, and like I said, put him in a good position to succeed for whoever adopted him. So that's why I'm making this short video as a thank you to Animal Humane on Clyde's 11th gotcha day. I seriously can't believe I've been able to take care of this dog for 11 years now, and there's no way I could have done it without the good people that helped me do it from the very beginning. I don't normally do ad reads or try and sell anything, I guess Raid Shadow Legends just never clicked with me, but I do want to promote the Animal Humane Society because animal care and animal advocacy is important to me. I was reminded of just how important when Bob Barker passed away the other day and I remembered watching him on The Price is Right anytime I was dropped off at my grandma's house and I could remember him saying, help control the pet population by keeping your pets spayed or neutered. That always kind of confused me as a kid, but now I get it. So uh, this is me trying to do my best Bob Barker impression, I guess. Help these folks out by giving a donation if you can, any amount helps, and you can do it by either scanning this QR code or by clicking the link in the description. And if you do decide to donate, make sure you mention Clyde somewhere in there. I think they'll get a big kick out of it. And I think they deserve it. I wouldn't be making this video otherwise. And the facility in Golden Valley in particular provided a fantastic experience and really helped Clyde and myself a lot. So this is my way of giving back. Just keep in mind, if you donate, your gift goes toward providing life-changing care and resources to vulnerable animals and the people that love them. I mean, it did for me and Clyde. So yeah, happy 11th gotcha day to Clyde T. Dog, and I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.